Welcome to the channel guys, my name is Jess. So last night was an absolutely insane night for Bitcoin. It dropped below a very critical level of support and while the price didn't actually move all that much, it is now at a real risk of seeing a much larger further correction. So we're going to jump into the video today to talk about the immediate short time frame price action and what we need to know, what we need to see, sorry, to know that the buyers are taking either back control of the market or that we're going to see a further drop downwards. We'll also take a look at total cryptocurrency market cap or total three because that is also in a very critical position right now. Before we get into all that though, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel down below for regular Bitcoin analysis every Wednesday and Saturday and ring the notification button so you never miss an episode. If you're interested in even more content, be sure to check out the free Telegram channel where you can get daily Bitcoin updates as well as crypto and economic news. And if you're interested in my VIP channel, you can get more details over here. VIP gives you exclusive access to my personal trade setups with exact entry points, targets and stop losses. <music> Alrighty guys, as per usual, before we get into any sort of future potential scenarios, we've got to start off by talking about all the recent price action and the context of that price action. So in my last video, we were traveling or Bitcoin was traveling in a horizontal channel. And last night, it did end up actually invalidating the base range or the base support of that channel and the key level of support that we are sitting at right now. So that key level of support was between $66,900 oh sorry, $65 and $67,200. If we zoom out on the 12-hour time frame, we can see that that critical level of support was actually the midline of our massive channel of consolidation right here that Bitcoin's been in for the last three to four months, right? So Falling below this channel, uh, falling below this critical midline tells us that we have a very high likelihood of moving to these lower ranges right here. So luckily last night we did end up bouncing on that next key level of support over here at $65,000. But if we don't manage to gain control, or if the buyers don't manage to gain control of the market, we're at a real risk of seeing a further correction, losing 65000 and going even lower. We can also see on total three or total altcoin market cap that for the first time, we are at another risk of potentially getting a candle close on the three-day chart below the 150-day SMA. So that is absolutely huge, guys. For those of you who didn't watch it in my last video, we have never historically gone below this level um, in any sort of bull market for altcoins. So it would signal probably like, you know, all-time lows, massive drops, and just massive market correction. That would be absolutely huge, right? It tells us, you know, that the market's really not doing what it's supposed to be doing at this stage of the cycle, right? When we're approaching the potential bull market, waiting for interest rates, all that kind of stuff, like, just really is not a good sign. So, Bitcoin really needs to correct here, otherwise we're at a real risk of seeing all these bearish signs and potentially even, you know, a macro bearish continuation, the loss of the future bull market, yada, yada, yada. That sounds like fear and doubt, so I won't, like, not the loss of the future bull market, we don't know that, but, you know, it's not looking good is what I'm trying to say. By the way, if my voice is sounding really, really crazy, it's because I'm really sick right now. I have a sore throat, a little bit of a cough. I've had, like, a couple of exams um, and just being stuck in a hallway for five hours with hundreds of students is probably what did that to me. So sorry if I sound really, really soft. I am trying my best. I've got some lemon tea with me. So we'll make it through this video. We'll try to keep it nice and short though. So let's start off by talking about the short time frame and immediately what we need to see on the 30 minute chart to validate that the buyers are regaining control of the market. Before we get into any more analysis, guys, let's hear a quick word from our sponsor, BitUnix. BitUnix is an emerging cryptocurrency exchange committed to providing you with a secure, convenient, and highly functional trading and investment platform. Available across all countries as a non-KYC exchange, get global access to over 150 trading pairs with minimal fees on both spot and futures contracts. Join today to get $5,500 US dollars in sign-up rewards and get 15% off all of your trading fees by signing up using the link in my bio or by using the code 1GG3 when you create your account. So on the immediate short time frame, what we're really looking for is a signal that the move below 67 or 66,000, this key level of support over here, was just a deviation. We're trying to see that the buyers are taking back control of the market and that the selling pressure that we have seen in the last couple of days is exhausting, right? And the very first sign that we're going to have for that is the invalidation of this downtrend. So we have confirmation of the downtrend from two points on the RSI over here 
right? So that tells us that, oh my goodness, why is it not letting me draw the circles? I hit, there we go. Two points of validation here on the RSI that tells us this is a valid downtrend and that if we manage to flip momentum enough to push back above the uptrend, that might be the first sign that we are fully breaking out of this downtrend over here on the price action and re-establishing this base over here, 66 to $67,000 as our base of support. Meaning that on the higher time frame charts, zooming out, say four hour time frame, but this, this move over here is nothing but a deviation, a flush out, right? And it tells us that we are moving back within this range of consolidation between 67 to $72,000 and that when we're back above the range, we have a potential to move back up to this next range of resistance, right? Within the range of consolidation, we expect to chop within that range. So then we have our next bullish target, and that is back to being $72,000. On these four hour time frame charts, we can also see some positive signs here too. So we have some bullish divergence here on the RSI. We can see from these two peaks here, we have lower high, lower lows, sorry. But on the RSI, we can see we're actually gaining momentum against the space of support over here, right? So it looks like potentially we might see the end of the correction here. This might be that first reversal sign on the four hour time frame. And we can also see that if we move out into the daily chart, the daily candle close just about 15 minutes ago did manage to actually establish 66 as that base of support for the daily candle close. So that's a good sign. So on these higher time frame charts, we are still technically holding 66 as that base of support so far. We just need that bullish validation on the short time frame charts to confirm the end of this downwards move and to push the price um, back into this range and target $72,000. But let's talk about the other scenario. Let's talk about what if we don't manage to see that. On the short time frame, well, let's say we continue rejecting from that downtrending resistance. We don't manage to break above or flip momentum on the on you know on these charts over here. What does that mean? First of all, that tells us that this is now our key level of resistance, right? If we don't manage to establish it as a base of support over here, that's now a key resistance, that midline of the channel. And it takes us back to consolidating within that next range, right? That macro range over here, whoopsies, from the midline being our resistance to $60,000 being our key level of macro support. Now the bearish trigger for that move to $60,000 is gonna be the loss of our key level of support right now at $65,000. So the range for that support starts at 64.5. So that's gonna be the bullish, the, sorry, the bearish trigger level. Getting a candle close below this level tells us, okay, in this bounce here, we weren't able to re-establish 66 as a base of support, we weren't able to enter in the range, we're going to see a further correction downwards. If we move over onto the weekly chart, what that would also mean is that we confirm the creation of a lower high over here, right? We had our first weekly candle close high over here at 71,200 and we had that next weekly candle close high down here at 69,600. So that is not a good sign. We're also forming an engulfing candle. So overall, it tells us that we're losing bullish momentum against this base of support over here. So it also means that the next time we approach that base of support, we have a higher likelihood of breaking down. So overall, things aren't looking very good. And if we do lose $65,000, we are probably going to see a very large macro correction for altcoins and Bitcoin included. I don't know what that's going to mean for the bull market, but definitely not looking all that good. As of right now, support is support until it's not. As always, guys, just watch out for that level. There's no confirmation that we're moving to 60K yet. There's no need to like panic. But watch out for the trend line. See how the price reacts to this bounce and see if the bounce is strong enough to show us that the buyers are taking back control of the market. And yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, that is everything I have to say for you today. If you enjoyed the video or you learned something, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel down below. And if you're after even more content, be sure to check out the free Telegram channel for daily updates as well as crypto and economic news. If you're interested in my VIP channel, you can get more details over here. VIP gives you exclusive access to my personal trade setups with exact entry points, targets, and stop losses. And if you are a trader, sign up down below to bit you next to get 5,500 US dollars in sign up rewards and 15% off all of your trading fees. Hope you guys have a really great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.